everyone and welcome back to my channel um quick surprise i've decided to extend our back to school series um after doing a little bit more research i have found other interesting ideas and you know more fun ways to make the school year exciting so first of all i'm going to be adding five more videos this week so that we'll have one each day and since today's monday we knock out one of the way and then we have four more to go for the rest of the week um we're gonna start off with homeschooling and that i'll be doing some about virtual learning programs and traditionally going to school and other things but today we're gonna talk about homeschooling. And one quick thing from me that I would like to say is that homeschooling can be hard. I have friends who are being homeschooled and they're just super stressed out because they don't get to connect with uh, friends as much as you know we do in going to school actually. So they're, they have been finding like new ways to actually connect and socialize. So I thought I would share those with you guys at the end if you know, there's still time. But here are some ways to make homeschool exciting and fun. So the first way is to create a study and learn station. And this applies to the virtual learning program too, because every day if you're trying to find a new spot to sit at, it's probably gonna distract you and get your mind all mixed up because you have another thing that you gotta think about. Instead, find that one desk that you wanna sit in and make sure it's comfortable and you like it and have everything handy and next to you by your learning station so it doesn't technically have to be a desk it could be a lap desk and you can sit on your bed and make it comfortable but at the same time you don't want that to be a distraction so make something that suits you but make sure that you're focused second of all you're going to follow a daily schedule again this promotes from having stress so you want to have as much stress if you don't know like what you're doing that day. So if I'm having math class first, I need to make sure that I know that so I'm not confused and I'm not having to pull up the schedule every single day on my device. Instead, I'll write it down on a sticky note and put it somewhere where I can see it. So I wouldn't have to pull up and do all that extra work when it could be you know, something much more easier. And then third of all, we can use different platforms to learn and study. If you're going to be in a virtual learning program or like associated with some sort of like, you know, curriculum or program and that requires uh, online classes, then this is not something that you'd be really going into. But if you're going to study, try to use different platforms like Quizlet. They have flashcards, with it's, which is digital and you can just go ahead and you know do vocabulary practice on it and things like that and i bet there's like hundreds of apps and websites that you can learn and study at it's just gonna make learning more fun and then fourth is take breaks uh, you don't want to take like long breaks maybe that's gonna get you distracted and you're gonna forget about what you're gonna be doing like your schoolwork and academically so what i was thinking is that we set limits for taking breaks um when i was virtual last year our teachers during class gave us like a two minute break every you know two three hours so that would help us to get up stretch and you know kind of walk around the house and do the same just set a timer take your phone or device with you that the timer is on kind of walk around or grab a snack something like that and take a break so you're not stressed out and then fifth thing that you're going to do is do like motivating activities and breaks you don't want to go on Netflix during breaks because that's just going to get you totally distracted and you want to keep on watching it. You're never going to come back to your schoolwork. So maybe do something like reading a book or take out a sticky note and write where you're sitting at. Maybe just get up, do stretches, take out a sticky note, draw something quickly and put it back. Something that's just quick and that's going to help you but not that's not going to get you like too distracted. We don't want to do that it's because you don't want to, you know, have to put your brain back on what you're doing, which is going to take another hard 30 minutes. 
So these are my five tips for homeschooling and the virtual learning program. And in our next video, we'll be focusing just on the virtual learning program. And it's more of my experiences that I'll be sharing with y'all. So stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.